Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universal Sandbox 2 video. Today we're doing another What If video. So it has been a while since we've done one of these, but apologies for that. And actually, it has been a few days since I made a video, so also apologies for that because um, yeah, it has a little busy. But yeah, I'm back now, so hopefully you're having a great day. And yeah, we're going to get into this. So um, what we are doing today is we're going to give all of the mass, all of the planets here. Well, sorry, there, I goofed up. We're going to give all of the... Um, planets here we're going to all give them the mass of Sirius because someone did say do the mass of the Sun but I think I did something quite similar to that before so we're going to switch things up and we're going to do the mass of Sirius so if we get Sirius for a quickly so Sirius is right here Sirius has 2.02 suns so we're going to give every single major planet and dwarf planet that mass so should be quite interesting so let's begin so Mercury so we're going to put you to 2.02 .02 mass of the Sun like this so 2.02 .02, like that so, oh no, not Earth, Sun. Come on, there we go. So, 2.02. .02. There we go, okay. So now Mercury is actually turned into a little star there, so that's going to be interesting. Same with Venus, we're going to do it with you as well. 2.02. .02. Okay, this is going to get pretty hectic. You can start to see all the orbits are going red because they are turned to black stars. Oh god, okay. This is going to get pretty interesting. Then we got the Sun, so 2.02. .02. Enter. Alright. Let's turn up. Oh, that has exploded. No, we don't want to do that. No! Mars! Control D. There we go. That'll get rid of any Novas. Um, right. Who's next? So, yeah, Jupiter's next. So, Sun. Let's go 2.02. Okay. Uh, Saturn. Same with you. 2.02. .02. Okay, this is going to get really interesting. I can't wait to see what happens when we click play. Because now everything's the massive 2.02 .02 suns. The Sun itself isn't actually going to be the strongest thing in the system anymore so or the, sh the biggest gravitational pull in the system so it's definitely get interesting here so let's go and do that as well 2.02 .02. oh look at all the red um we'll do iris as well and, and pluto we've got, we've got, we've got to remember pluto so 2.02 .02. pluto as well ah oh, this is gonna be mayhem so 2.02 .02. oh yeah and then and then last but not least planet nine so sun and 2.02 .02. voila okay so we've got the whole system here oh this isn't gonna be good is it oh no <laughs> look at all the red guys okay let's just get a quick car size comparison as well look at all this stuff saturn's the largest now oh my Planet, look at these guys i don't know why they're smaller but yeah we've got all this this is gonna get pretty hectic okay so yeah it doesn't really matter about the size anyway the mass is what Oh, excuse me, the mass is what really counts. So, let's slow down time and let's watch magic happen. So, let's do this. Oh, look at all the red. Right, play. Okay, that Mars Nova remnant did get cleaned up. That's good. Okay. I didn't want it exploding out. So, let's watch. Just most of the stuff will happen in the inner solar system first. We can see here the sun already is getting too close to Mercury. Just look at the size of these. This thing's almost the size of the sun. We've got Venus coming. Oh, no. This is going to be like a triple nova almost. Okay, let's slow it down here. So we've got the sun near Mercury. But Venus is attracted to Mercury first. It's like Mars may go to Earth there. But, oh, here we go. Let's um, get this all in slow motion. Let's actually try and get it really slow. Let's see, actually see them collide instead of just them touching and then exploding. Let's see if we can actually get the collision here. So, come on, a little quicker. They're going to collide. Right, pause right there. Now we're going to slow this down and let's see what happens. So, play. So we're traveling at 50 or minutes here. Slow it down even more. So, not eight seconds. So we're almost traveling at real time here. Oh, this is going to be insane. All right, they're getting closer. Let's get a real good look in there. Right, let's turn off the labels as well. All right, there we go. All right, oh, we're about to touch. Here we go. And they hit, they clash. Oh, God. Oh, that was a big explosion. So the Venus has been destroyed by Mercury. But is this going to explode in Nova? That's the question. Oh, look at that. Oh, and it's gone. Boom. So it's completely gone, Mercury. So it overloaded pretty much, and now it's gone. Oh, no. So now we've got a Nova in the system. So that's going to wipe out a lot of the small objects there. So the Sun is going to survive for now, since there's no objects. But I think Earth is going to go for Mars next. Okay, let's see this. Oh, it's massive change. Let me quickly pull it back to 2.02. .02. There we go, 2.02. .02. There we go. Right, let's see what else goes on. I don't want that supernova causing too much trouble. Oh, no, it's all in our face, okay? And it's going to vaporize everything, yep. So let's um, just speed up time, then delete that, and there we go. So there's the remains of the Mercury and Venus collision there. 
Um, we've actually got a new star which is formed from the fragments um, of all that as well. That's quite cool. So there's a the sun there. And then we've got Earth and Mars. So the sun is actually may escape. It looks like it's on an escape route right now. So let's see what happens with Earth and Mars here. Because, yeah, I think they're going to collide. They, they are attracting to each other. So, right. Who's going to win out of Earth and Mars? They both have the same mass right now. So let's see here. Okay. Oh, they got close. But it looks like they may get away. Unless they come back to each other. Okay, so those are there. Let's just keep trail mode. Let's just put orbit mode on. Look at all this. This is crazy. Look at all these hot fragments as well. All glowing blue. That's pretty cool. Let's put labels back on so we can see. So there's all of the um, fragments there. Then that we've got the Mars Nova remnant in there as well. That already, like, Nova anyway. But we stopped it. So, okay. It looks like Earth and Mars are actually going to sort of get out of this. Which is quite good. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, they are getting pretty close. Control D. Uh, let's get any particles. Okay, that's pretty interesting. The simulation doesn't even want to play right now. That is really annoying. <laughs> Damn it, game. Why do you have to do this to us? Can I delete the Nova? See, they're so weird. You see all these supernovas? They won't go off of my screen. You can see at the middle bottom here. What is all this? Why won't it go away? You have to like many click and delete them. They're so weird. It's like the control D doesn't really work. They're really annoying. So, there we go. But yeah, anyways. Basically, if all of these were the mass of Sirius, the star Sirius, Bad things happen. <laughs> so, oh god, it won't even play any faster. Let's just go for a reset. Let's do that again. Okay, here we go. So, let's do it all again. So, 2.02. .02. So, let's just do that. So, 2.02. .02. So, that's already changed that. Okay. Then we'll go 2.02. .02. I want the sun to collide with something. That would be cool. So, then 2.02. .02. Because the sun's the only thing emitting light right now, since all these just tur get turned to the black sort of objects which is quite weird so there is that okay so and 2.02 okay so mars is working this time i think okay earth not jupiter sun 2.02 .02. wait did i do venus correctly i did moon can't go away moon don't you so 2.02 .02. okay oh no we'll do series as well i don't know if i did it last time so i can't remember so 2.02 .02. oh god um and that as well not jupiter sun keep Clicking the sun, that's 2.02. .02. Oh, this isn't good. Also, um, while I'm doing this, guys, if you've got any more ideas for what if videos, feel free to leave them down below in the comments because I always read them within 24 hours of the video going up. So, there, there's that. Okay, so then 2.02. .02. So, only 2.02s. .02. Just stop saying it. Probably boring you guys with this. So, yeah, there we go. Okay, so there is that. Oh, so sun. Yep, sun. We must keep misclicking that. It's getting annoying. And Iris. Okay, we'll save the simulation this time. So if we want to do any retries, we can do that. So, and Planet 9 as well. 2.0. Not, not. So yeah, 2.02 suns. There we go. Right. Perfect. Okay, this is everything. So then let's just go save. We'll just do save simulation like that. Right, now we can play. Right, let's do this again. Play. Oh god, look at all this. This is crazy. Right, we want to get different outcomes every time though. So Mercury and Venus, boom. Oh god, okay, that was huge. Nice red souping over there as well. So let's just do that, control. It's annoying control F doesn't work anymore because that used to delete fragments, but it doesn't anymore. So these fragments, we can't delete them, which is really annoying because we used to be able to do it, but you can't do it anymore. And the poor PC just can't handle this. God damn, it's always with that. Oh god, even more things collided there. Okay, maybe it can handle it. God damn it, game. Why do you have to do this to us? Turn that off. Lower this. There we go. Now we can really watch things happen here. So, there we have to change that setting there. So, all these objects are going to continually pull at each other and push each other around until we do get a collision in the middle. So, yeah, we just have to watch and hopefully something will collide or they're all just going to break into space like all these fragments. But, I mean, look at Jupes right now. It's going crazy. Look at this. Look at that. It's crazy. So, it looks like Mars, Uranus. Okay, let's just delete all that again. So, it looks like Saturn series in a binary orbit. See, so, yeah, it forms a lot of binary orbits, um, this um, scenario as well, which is quite interesting. But, yeah, most of these probably will collide if they keep mixing with each other. But some of them probably will escape. And we see how some of them are... Yeah, look, this fragment, or Sedna, actually. Sedna's further away than Planet Nine is now. So, yeah, they've all just been completely ejected. Pluto, that's completely out of here. Saturn as well, that's all gone. So, it's mainly these four here and Uranus. The, was it four or five? Oh, they've just eat, completely tossed each other in the different directions. So, and that's these three. So, Mars, Ceres, Neptune, looks like Uranus as well. These are the only remaining ones. 
but it looks like they've lost um, gravitational effect on each other, and now they're just going to completely fly off into nothingness, or fly off into the galaxy, I guess, leave the solar system, or where the solar system was located anyway, so there is that, so honestly, I think that's it, guys, because we can't really keep replaying this, otherwise we keep getting this stupid message coming up saying, simulation can't run any faster, because... Supernova scenario or something that causes a supernova, we can't really do much with because the supernovas just, bu they're so buggy, like, oh, can you see, the, um, you guys can see this, right, you see that supernova, what is this here, why, why isn't this deleted, like, control D should get rid of all particles, which used to include supernovas, but now these supernovas still, they're just, they're there, but they're not visible, the colour's all gone, it's, it's really, really weird. And it's been a bug that's been in the game for quite a while now, even through updates. They haven't removed it, which kind of sucks, but oh well, I guess um, that sucks. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess we have to deal with it, so yeah, there is that. But anyway, guys, I think that will do it for today's video, so hopefully you enjoyed. Make sure if you do, hit that like button, subscribe for more. If you've got any more what-if ideas, please do something that wouldn't cause too many supernovas like this, because um, um, poor PC might not be able to handle it, so yeah, there is that. And also... Um, if you've um, got any custom solar systems you want to send in, please do not post it on this video. Please post it on the those videos where I check out your systems. Because some people still do post their links on the wrong videos. And I will never ever check these videos for links. So, yeah, just keep that in mind. Please post them only on the subscriber universe. Or not subscriber universe. The, um, checking out your solar systems videos. Yeah, please, please do that. But, yeah, that is everything, guys. So, make sure you all have a great day. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.